Okay, let's try this again. Hello, what's going on everyone? It's K-I-M and S-A-V Kim out of Savannah, Georgia of BetterBodyCrew.com and I am going to talk to you guys right now while I am on my vibration machine. So that is the reason why the camera is shaking and my voice may sound like I am talking into a fan, okay? <laughs> but I got to multitask. So anywho, um, recently I've been examining different parts of my business because I have a mentor that says you should always look at what you can automate, delegate, and eliminate. So when I'm, oh my gosh, I don't know why my phone is still showing as full. Okay, I'm going to try to get through this broadcast without it breaking up too much, but um, I should look at what I can automate eliminate and delegate and so when I'm doing that in my business and looking at how systems go and and what do I have a system for and what am I just kind of like winging it follow-up has been something that although for years I've heard that the fortune is in the follow-up I'm just gonna be honest with y'all for a long time there I was of the mindset you know hey if they want it they should reach out to me and it wasn't that I was um, trying to be mean or malicious it was just like you know it's more I have more clients and it's only one of me so you know that's a way for me to weed out those who are serious but guys let me tell you something uh, when I went into my back office of my company for I've been in this company since 2015 in my back office I had 950 clients okay 950 clients in my square store I have seven about a little bit more than 750 clients okay now some people buy once a year once a month uh, once a week it's all over the place right but that's a lot of people it really is and um, I am only one person however here is what I have found in in studying the people that are doing this successfully and the people that have the six-figure rings and the people that are basically having the results that I desire when I talk to them they always 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 talk about following up being key and the one reason well the many reasons why you shouldn't follow up there you know this is kind of like one of those videos in reverse but the only reason why you shouldn't be following up is if you don't want to grow or you're inside of your ego so when I look at the reasons why I didn't follow up and I was talking with my business partner Candy B about this recently I said dang if I oh please phone please I said if I am really 100% honest with myself the reasons why I have not followed up they have pretty much been because of a lack of organization um, I was in my own feelings meaning I was dealing with my own personal drama and letting it getting in the way uh, get in the way of my professional life and um, and the last one this is super important I was scared of what the client was gonna say and when I told Candy B that last one she was like really and I said, yeah, if I'm honest with you, absolutely. I can see many, many times that I didn't follow up with people because I, I, I want everybody to get great results. I want everybody to be happy. However, oftentimes I was scared of what the client was going to say. So let's examine this, okay, really, really quickly. Um, lack of organization. You have got to set aside time to follow up because let me tell y'all something. I'm a Gemini. I have a duality in my personality. There are times when I'm very structured, a type personality, and then there are other times I'm basically like a gypsy <laughs> and I do everything like fly by the seat of my pants. Um, so on those days when I do not sit down and it's so important when you have a business and you work for yourself that you act like you have a job, meaning when you have a job, you know, when you come in, that first thing the boss is going to want you to check and respond to emails then at this time you have lunch at that time you have a meeting at this time you whatever the case may be it's your first break or your second break it doesn't matter you need to do the same thing with your business because if you do not run your day your day will run you so you've got to set aside time when I say organization to follow up with your clients you've got to set aside time and you've got to have systems in place when I tell you it is so much easier to follow up with people once I incorporated my own square store because of the metrics in the square store because of the database and the filters and the reporting that I can do that was a whole nother level then put on top of that stamps.com the stamps.com interface when I can filter by not just the date that I sent a package but the date that the package actually arrived with my client because if I'm following up based on the date that I sent everything well depending on where my clients are and I have clients all over the nation depending on where they live they're all going to get their packages at different times so if I can see the date that it was received not just sent that makes a huge difference 
you guys have no idea how much small differences make big differences, but they really, really do. Those few days count, right? All right, so organization, you have to have time and you have to have systems in place to make it easy for you to follow up with people. Um, alongside, one more thing with that, you have to have a strategy, okay? When I follow up with people, again, 950 people in my back office, 750 people in my square store, that's over, ooh, that's, all, that's like knocking on 2,000 people. I can't call everybody, right? And I'm not saying you follow up with everybody every day, but maybe what you do is you follow up with people that got their pro products a week ago, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, a month ago. And, and then probably like every three months, six months or something like that. But you have to have a strategy for it. And then how do you follow up? For me, Facebook Messenger is a big, big deal. I love Facebook Messenger because it's something that you can do at any time without being intrusive. Also, on my particular phone, and if you have an iPhone, oh well. Uh, I don't know how y'all do it, y'all Apple people. But on my particular phone, what I can actually do is schedule text messages. So if you're a client of mine and you're watching this right now, and you've ever thought to yourself, you know, Kim just messaged me and I responded right back and that heifer didn't say anything baby i was probably two sheets to the wind that was probably a scheduled message <laughs> that i sent to you the night before and i i told my phone to actually send it um at a certain time um and for those of you who are watching on youtube this originally begins on facebook live so please be patient with me while i shout out some of my people if you're watching on facebook and you're wondering why your phone is vibrating your phone is not vibrating i'm on my vibration machine <laughs> burning calories while I speak to you and do this training um, killing two birds at one time with one stone so have um, the time set aside have systems in place to make follow-up easy and then have a strategy for how you are going to follow up for me I, I can't talk to a lot of people because I'm a rambler and so I will end up on the phone with one person for an hour when I could have texted about 20 or 30 all right now the second thing um, like I said one issue I had was organization the second thing was personal matters letting personal drama get into my professional life so there are many days when I just wanted to crawl up in a hole and just curl in a fetal position and cry and, and eat chocolate ice cream right guys let me tell you something this is where personal development is so key in building a business you have to manage your emotions you have to um modify your mindset constantly because life is going to happen to you it, it's hard from the womb to the tomb i don't know anybody who's like "Ooh, i can i'm on cruise control now there's always something going on so you've got to learn how to not get lost in the sauce stressed and pressed in the mess and still push forward despite your circumstances there's a quote that i heard that i absolutely love and it says if you're going through hell keep going don't just stand there and burn up and oh my gosh from the moment i heard it i fell in love with it because it's absolute truth so those times when i was you know so involved in whatever drama or trauma i was going through in my personal life that i just said oh i'm gonna take the day off and i'm not gonna work my business trust me it, it made whatever personal situation i'm going through worse you cannot do that you cannot take a day off um yes you do need time to process process things at times but when you're running a business with the goal of making money the majority of the problems that people have it, if not if not solved completely by money, it can be helped greatly by money. So what is the point in you not doing your income producing activities that could probably help help to mitigate the effect of whatever personal stuff you have going on? What's the point of not doing that? Okay, I'm sure whatever it is you're going through personally is only going to get worse because now you not only have the personal stuff going on, but now you, you're getting further and further behind in your business. So I see that now. And it's, it's funny because I'm the type of person that when things are going on that are bad or sad, I actually love to use something as a distraction. Okay, so I will, I could, I, and I've been like that since I was a child, like if there was you know my sister and brother could be fighting in the room right next to me and i would be right reading a book <laughs> i would just be like doo, doo, doo. and that's how i block things out now it's not good because to a lot of people it looks like i don't care about stuff and that, that's not the case at all that's just how i function okay now if that's not how you function and you need an y'all and vizant moment all the time i don't know what to tell you because i'm not that girl but you've got to find a way to manage your emotions and push through even when you don't want to and again if you're doing something if you have structure to where you don't have to talk to people but instead you can text or you can send a message or an email or something like that 
oh my gosh, all the better because then they don't have to hear anything weird in your voice or something like that. In the times when I'm feeling down and lonely, I do not cut videos because that energy, energy uh, is brings about synergy. It's, it, it's contagious, okay? And you don't want to put that on anyone else. But there are things, there are uh, certain things and activities that you can do in your business that don't require you to be involved with people. And you should do those things um, as it relates to following up in the times when you are like down in the dumps. But don't let your personal issues bleed through into your professional life. The other thing I said was ego. I had this ego, I can admit that now, where I was like, hmm, I got the products. If they want to lose weight, if they want better health, and if they're really serious, they should reach out to me. But guys, the more and more and more I study the people that are successful in this profession, they have a big heart for service. They are all about being service of many. They understand that the income is driven by the impact they have. And to truly have a great influence, a great impact, they have to get outside of their ego. So the more I put myself to the side, including my feelings, my emotions, my thoughts, whatever the case may be and the more I reach out to people and say how can I be of service to you how can I assist you how can I help you is there any question is there any concern that I can address to help you make things um, more simplified or whatever the case may be the more I do that the more I've seen tremendous growth in my business and the last reason again while I was not following up with people that I see now whoo it's been 10 minutes y'all okay I do this for 30 so I'm gonna hit it for another 10 hold on one second let me reset myself but the last reason that I see why I was not following up with, with people and I said um, it was uh, that I was scared of what they were going to say. Yes, I was scared of what they were going to say. Now, let's be clear on this. It's not because I don't have faith in my products or faith in the company. It's just because those seeds of doubt creep into all of our minds regarding anything at some point in time. And being that I am in such a profession where, you know, the results do vary and everybody's body is different. I really want everybody to have the success that I had, that so many of my friends have had. And it you know, there are times when people are saying, hey, X, Y, Z thing didn't work for me or I don't feel what I'm supposed to feel or whatever the case may be. And how, you know, when you first get into the business, you're like, how, what do I say to that? Or you, you got the commission for the sale and now you don't want the commission to be taken back. But guys, again, growth, maturity, personal development, mindset training, all that. Let me tell you something. It will teach you. I do not want your money if I cannot get your testimony. Okay. And I'm, I'm very, very serious about that. I do not want your money if I cannot get your testimony. All right. If this is not going to be a win win for both of us, then I don't deserve your dollars. And as I've come to understand that I'm perfectly fine with anyone who needs a refund and exchange or most people exchange, they don't refund. Um, but I'm perfectly fine with that. And I have found that oftentimes it's not that people are having a negative experience with the products. I, I have been so pleasantly surprised um, since I've been following up more diligently with my customers. How many people are like, oh, yeah, things are great. I've lost six pounds. And I'm like, well, why are you going to tell somebody? Oh, why is this a secret? And it's not that it's a secret, but the same thing that I said before to myself, you know, I got a lot going on. Well, my clients have a lot going on too. So they just haven't gotten around to sharing with me their testimony. But now since I'm being a lot more proactive and talking to them about what's going on now i can get that testimony earlier while they're on their journey and not only that it gives me the opportunity when i follow up with them to say hey um are you doing this like somebody told me they lost six pounds i said what about your inches she said i'm not tracking my inches i said oh well that's a missed opportunity you do not want to not track your inches because depending on your muscle to fat ratio and certain things with your body that will determine whether you are more of a pound dropper or an inch, an inch center, okay? So I've had people who have lost zero pounds but 20 inches overall, and they feel great because their clothes are falling off of them, and people tell them, oh, I see the difference in you. So I always want to tell all my clients, hey, monitor those inches. Well, it's a lot easier to do that if you can tell them during the process, at the beginning of the process, versus what I was doing before. You know, I would have customers, they would use their 30-day supply, and then they would call me back, and I'd be like, oh, okay, good. They reached out to me. This means they serious. <laughs> and, and when they would call me back, I would ask those questions then. Hey, did you track your inches? And they would say no. And then I would say, oh, well, you should do that. Hold on, let me adjust myself some here. Well, you should do that. That's what I would tell them. Or I would say, well, how, how, did how did things go? 
And they would tell me, and now I'm trying to retroactively tell them, well, on your next purchase, try this with the tea or try that when I could have told them those things earlier and hopefully have gotten them a much greater result. So I, I'm, I'm so serious about this. You know, every single day, month, week, year, whatever, it's, a, it's an opportunity for growth. When I first got into this profession and they said, you know, if it took you five, 10, 15 years to get rich or to accomplish all of your goals and dreams, would it be worth it? And I said, I, I told my mentor at that point in time, yes, it would. And guys, I meant it. And I'm happy that I've given myself that time to enjoy the journey and be patient in the process because I'm not going to lie to you. Every single year has been something different. The first year was a huge year for me just trying to get over myself, get out of my own head and, and just totally reframing and reshaping everything I thought about what it meant to be successful and, and making money and everything that society and college, everything that I was taught informal education i pretty much had to let go of so that i could have success in this profession and then throughout the years i, I there was a year when i just sat down and worked on conversing with people sales conversations cash flow conversations okay and then there was a year when i sat down and i started working on um product knowledge automation learning more about internet marketing uh attraction marketing like every single phase of this business has been something different i now see why the people that are super successful in this oftentimes they've been in it for decades many 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 years because it takes a lot of years to like i say undo all the crap we have going on in our minds and then just you know have a laser gazelle type intensity um with different aspects of our business so that you know one day suddenly overnight right they'd be like so and so is an overnight millionaire but it's so they only say that because they have no idea that that overnight took five six seven eight years right but excuse me um how much time I got left on this? Okay. <laughs> but I'm telling you guys right now, it is so worth it. And if you, I don't care if you're in my business or another business, it doesn't have to be a network marketing company, but you have got to find a way to follow up with your customers. And if you really true to help to grow your client base, to be just like, you know, have these uncontrollable sales and scale, you've got to find a way to automate it, to systematize the process. You've got to have um, certain databases in place and don't be afraid to invest in your business and parts of the process. Process because I'm telling you, if you do your homework, you do your research, and you study what it is you're going to invest in before you actually do it, it's going to more than pay for itself. It'll be a write-off. You'll get a great return on the investment. You will have more time. You'll get better results. And you'll, there will just be this compound effect of greatness that will really help you take your business to the next level. So guys, listen, I think I've rambled enough. Um, I know I, the title is pretty sarcastic, why you should not follow up with people. But you know... That's how I do. <laughs> the point is you should follow up with people and all that mess that you have in your head about I'm scared. Let go. Let it let go of your ego. Get in touch with your customers. Realize that people have 50 million things going on. And if somebody gives you a great testimony, great. Then that is your opportunity to solidify that relationship with them and go ahead and secure the next order. If they give you a bad testimony, they're not having a good experience so far. This is your chance to correct that to still turn things around for them so that maybe it's something that they missed in the directions. Maybe it's something that they misunderstood. Maybe they haven't even started yet. I followed up with a customer who ordered a month ago and she said, my life has just been so crazy. I haven't even used the products yet. Awesome. When do you think you'll get around to using them? So now I know when to follow up with her. Uh, but at least I reached out and showed her, hey, I didn't forget about you. So, you know, this has really been a process of growth because when I first started this business, I had a lot of ways of thinking about certain things, my interactions with others, their interactions with me. I really had a type of forget you then to, uh, mentality of people didn't do certain things that I thought they should do, even though I wasn't doing certain things that I should have been doing. And like I said, it's a very humbling experience, <laughs> very humbling experience. Um, but I strongly encourage you do not stay in, 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 in your ego. Seek out mentors who know more than you, who have the results that you want, who can show you the way, and then listen when they speak. Take action on the 
the instruction that they give to you because if you do that you will get to the money quicker your clients will be happier and you will be so, i mean oh my gosh we just waste so much time and so much money doing things the hard way instead of the smart way so that's my experience guys i'm just being 100 percent honest with you i have not done everything perfectly in my business i've done so many things wrong but i am committed to the process of learning and growing and and uh, you know that's just the way it works i am so committed to it it's not even funny so to all my clients that have been hanging with me since day one thank you for putting up with my crap <laughs> not that i was mean to you but just thank you for being patient with me and to my new clients i'm excited for you because you're definitely getting kimberly prosperity 2.0 a new and improved version of myself um and if you're in business whether it's mine or another business i strongly encourage you systematize automate delegate eliminate things in your uh, business uh. constantly be committed to growing and realize that your income will grow when your impact and your influence do all right if you like this video and you're watching on youtube this is your first time seeing me hit that big red subscribe button and also the bell to the right ding dong so every time i upload a new video you'll be the first to know and if you're on uh facebook and you feel like somebody on your team could use this message definitely share it with them guys okay again i if you're watching and you're wondering why your camera is shaking it's not i appreciate y'all being patient with me while i must take multitask i am burning calories while standing still on my vibration plate okay yeah uh, that, that, that's the real the original thunder thighs right there y'all <laughs> all right i'll see y'all later i'm gonna wrap up these last few minutes and uh that's it for now bye